welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 8-2, Measuring and Classifying Angles. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister of England, former Prime Minister of England. She said, I do not know anyone who has got to the top without hard work. That is the recipe. I, it will not always get you to the top, but should get you pretty near. I wish I could have said that with a better English accent, but I don't have one. So, Our learning goal today is to measure, draw, and classify angles. We will be measuring in class, but in this lesson we'll be estimating measurements so that you can use the protractor in class and then actually in the video do some estimating since you won't always have a protractor when you're estimating angles. Our learning goals are to name angles, classify angles, and estimate the measure of an angle. The naming angles is different than the classifying angles, simply that. Uh, remember how we named lines and rays last night? We'll be naming angles in that same way. So here is your vocabulary for the evening. An angle is formed by two rays that have the same end point, and I gave you a little picture of that to the right. That's an angle. Angles are all different sizes, and we're going to look at a lot of the different sizes. The vertex is the end point where the two rays of an angle meet, and that arrow is pointing to that end point, the vertex. An acute angle, that is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So I drew a picture of an acute angle, and we always remember that an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. If this is 90 degrees, this um, square angle right he here, an acute angle we call a cute little angle. There it is. It's a cute little angle. And um, that's how you can remember that it's the smaller one. It's a cute little angle. A right angle is like this. You can see that I tucked the corner of a square in it to show that when you tuck a square in it, you've got parallel. This line will be parallel to the square side, and this line will be parallel to the other square side. Um, I often suggest in class that you take the corner of your scratch paper and check an angle to make sure it is truly a right angle. Sometimes if you take a right angle and turn it on its side, it will, be, it will look less like a right angle, and we don't want to rely on just what we see. We want to be able to prove what we, what we, how we classify an angle. So it's a good idea to always check it with the corner of your paper, which is a 90 degree angle. Um, an obtuse angle has a measure between 90 and 180 degrees. It's not 90 degrees, it's not 180 degrees. A right angle is 90 degrees, and 180 degrees is a straight angle. So we try to remember obtuse by opening up that right angle. It's hard to do, I can't open mine very wide. But we open it up wider than a 90 degree angle. So we, we say open, open, obtuse is open, open. Um, there's a picture of it. You can see that there's a lot of angle that um, doesn't line up with that square. A straight angle looks like this. It's a line. It has a measure of 180 degrees. It's just a straight line. It doesn't even look like what we think of as an angle, but it is considered a straight angle. Anything less than 180 looks a little bit like an angle, but you would want to check it maybe with your pencil or something to make sure that it is straight or does it have a little bit of a bend to it. There's some pictures of Margaret Thatcher. You can see her cooking. She was not only a leader of her country, but she was also apparently a good housewife. And um, that's her with her son and his wife. And I love that picture of Margaret Thatcher with her really cool hat. She has a lot of really cool hat pictures. You would get a kick out of them too. We're gonna do some estimating the measure of angles now. So I've drawn a picture of an angle here and we are going to estimate its measure. We know that um, if we have our straight line here at the bottom, we can make a right angle. I'm gonna make it using a dotted line because this isn't a real angle. We're just using it to estimate. If a, if a right angle is 90 degrees, so all of this is 90 degrees, half of 90 degrees, if I divided this right about in half, <laughs> mm, kind of sad. This would be about 45 degrees, and this would be about 45 degrees. What we can see by doing these estimated lines is that our angle is a little bit less than 45 degrees. If I were estimating, I might say that it's 35 degrees, maybe. 
And this is the little degree symbol. It's another way of, of instead of writing out the word 35 degrees. So we're gonna say that this angle is about 35 degrees. It doesn't have to be exact when you're estimating. What um, assessors are looking for is that you know that it's less than 90 degrees, less than probably 45 degrees, and that's about where they need to be. You know it's more than five or 10 degrees. In class, we'll show you some angles and let you, um, and let you actually estimate them and then measure them with your protractor and see how close you can get. I think that's kind of cool. We also know because it's less than 90 degrees that it is what type of angle? Yeah, acute. It's a cute little angle. It's less than that 90 degree right angle. If we were naming this, tri this angle here, every ray or has points through it, and this is two rays. There's one ray and there's another ray beginning at this end point. If this is A and this is B and this is C, we would name this angle either, this is the symbol for angle, B, A, C, like this, B, A, C, or we could name it C, A, B, hmm, that spells cab, C, A, B. Do you notice I didn't jump across? I didn't say C, B, A, or B, C, A. I always started at one end, traveled down to the vertex, and then traveled out to the other end. So um, there's one more name that we could name this angle and it is angle A, the name of the vertex, that end point. You can name your whole angle that if you want to. So we will do a little bit more practice with that, but now I wanna show you an obtuse angle and see if we can estimate the measure of an obtuse angle. I am just not on my game as far as drawing straight lines. Maybe I'm doing them too slowly. Again, take a piece of paper that you have at your house and like, hmm. Here's a piece of paper, it's not on. You could just, if this was your angle, tuck it right in your angle and see if it's a 90 degree angle. I'm thinking this isn't a 90 degree angle and I could tuck my paper up there, but um, if I look at this, a 90 degree angle to me looks like it would be happening about, oops, right here. I think this is 90 degrees. Here's 180 degrees a line going straight, 180 degrees. What is half of 90 degrees and 180 degrees? Hmm, we know that when we divide an angle in half or a 90 degree angle in half, we have 45. So if I have 90 and I add 45 to it, 135, half of this angle, I'm estimating half now, would be 135 degrees. Here's our 180 degree line. Here's our 90 degree line. So this is about halfway between 90 and 135. Hmm, half of 45 is about 22.5, so let's say 23. Let's add 23 to 90. 90 plus 23 is 113. This might be even just a little less than half between this and this. My estimated measure would probably be about 109. Now I don't have my protractor with me so I can't check that but I'm probably pretty close in estimation. At least I knew that it was less than 135 degrees and greater than 90 degrees. And I could get pretty close to halfway, so it's kind of fun. That's definitely an obtuse angle as it's greater than 90 degrees. And again, if you named it, you would name it by its endpoint, its vertex, and its other endpoint, or going in the opposite direction, or just naming the point of its angle. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this activity when we do it in class. So it's time for us to do some practice. We're gonna classify some angles. Number one, classify the angle that's next to the word angle and pause it and push play when you've written it down. Did you write acute? That's a cute little angle. It's less than 90 degrees. Let's try another one. Classify the angle. 
push play when you've written it down. Did you write obtuse? Obtuse open. Obtuse open. It's opened greater, wider than a 90 degree angle. Let's try another one. Classify the angle. Push play when you've written it down. Did you write right? <laughs> that doesn't sound grammatically correct, but it is. Did you write the word right, that it's a right angle? It's got square corners, 90 degree angles. It's a right angle. Number four, classify the angle. Push play when you've written it down. Did you write straight? That's a straight angle. That's easy to check. You can hold your pencil up next to that or your piece of paper and see that it's a perfectly straight line. Let's keep going. It's time to challenge yourself. I've been really proud of those of you who've been challenging yourself this year. I think it's really growing your math brains. Alicia, that's my daughter's name, says that two times the measure of an acute angle will always equal the measure of an obtuse angle. Is she right? Not is she a right angle, is she correct? Explain and give examples, really specific examples. Don't just kind of throw some words out there. Give me some concrete examples to support your answer. You can draw pictures to do that too. Come back tomorrow to check your answer in class. Finishing up, we are learning a lot of new vocabulary this unit. There is a great deal, but geometry is really fun. You're really going to enjoy it. But write down if you think you're at a level one, two, or three in your learning. Also write down any questions in your flip journal that you might still have so that we can answer them in class tomorrow. We could go back to last lesson. Think and go geometry. You've completed lesson 8-2, measuring and classifying angles. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.